I am Dr. Drew Moganaki. I'm Dr. Malika Syker. I'm Dr. Samir Kioli. I'm Dr. Christina Woodhouse, and I'm a radiation oncologist. Well, I think it's an incredibly exciting time to be a radiation oncologist. We've historically taken care of people with curative lung cancer, prostate cancer. We take care of older patients, younger patients. And today, we're curing more people than ever before. We're helping people live longer. Our future is bright. I mean, I finished residency, and there have been such great advancements already in just a couple years. I'm excited to see where the, the specialty is going. Um, I think a, a lot of patients sometimes stop me and they're like, is, is there a cure for cancer yet? And, I, and I'm like, well, yeah, we are curing cancer. We've been curing cancer with radiation for over 100 years. In that century, we continue to work to get more precise, to provide more, more effective and safer treatments. So it's not just the best technologies that are, are beyond even what we can imagine 10 or 20 years ago, but also how do we improve the patient experience during their cancer treatment. There's a lot of excitement when I think about the future of radiation oncology, all the new technological advances, all the new advances that we're making in research from the molecular level um, to the machines that we use to treat cancer patients. An area that I'm passionate about is diversity, inclusion, and health equity. And uh, the field of radiation oncology is very invested to eliminate health disparities and improve health equity and to improve diversity and inclusion in the field of radiation oncology. I think the future is bright and we'll be able to impact more patients in a positive manner um, moving forward than we can even today.